Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 925. And today we're going to talk about a few things, which is balance, freedom, and fulfillment. Your new BFF. I'm going to explain more about that and how I'm going to help you with that and explain why you want to get help with that in a moment. Um, before I jump in, let me introduce myself so you know what this is all about and maybe why you want to listen. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. A great book if I do say so myself. And I'm also a relationship and love expert. I help women create balance in love, life and business because, there's a word balance by the way, because I'm a passionate champion of the divine feminine. That's also what started these talks or inspired these talks just under, just over three years ago. It's about a week ago, just under a week ago, three years ago, I started these talks called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And that was episode one, three years ago. Now it's 925 broadcasts later, quite a lot of them. Um, there's a shift coming. And I've been talking recently a lot about self-centric type conversations, about how to support, your, support yourself and really to take care of yourself. That's why I've been talking about self-love and about spiritual practices as well over the last few weeks. And so what's come up for me actually this morning, no, this afternoon, excuse me, I was having a chat this afternoon with a friend of mine, um, Thank you, Laura, for the input um, and accountability conversation was, conversation was having. And so I wanted to distill something. Hi, Jim, nice to see you. Thanks for being in my broadcast. Long First time you see me? I'm not sure. Um, on my personal page. So I want to talk about balance, freedom, and fulfillment because it's been on my mind for a long time. I've talked a lot about finding balance. And in fact, I've said in my introductions for quite a while now that help women find balance in love, life, and business. Balance in love, life, and business. When you do find balance in love, life, and business, <laughs> to give you the, the signs, you find fulfillment. And so I figured by creating balance and fulfillment, you can explore freedom. And so I'm talking about these three things in particular because I'm actually gonna take on some clients in this particular arena. So I'm not talking about relationship-centric stuff at the moment, although it may come up in the conversation, but I'm inviting clients who wanna do this, and you gotta be willing to do this, is discovering yourself what it is that feeds your freedom, what it is that fuels your balance. In fact, we'll actually, I'll actually show you how to find balance, to be honest. And also then one creates fulfillment because fulfillment is an inside job. And I talked about this before, I believe a few weeks ago now, that really when you keep looking out there to get fulfilled, especially in relationship, that whole codependency thing, you never get satisfied. It's an incomplete and in fact, it's an impossible task for somebody else to completely make you feel okay. You cannot be fulfilled by somebody else. Sorry to burst your bubble, but that's the truth. The only fulfillment that can happen is from within. So that's one of the, that's, so, so it's BFF, so that's fulfillment, that's the last one. The second one is freedom. And the same thing applies too. We sometimes feel like somebody can say to us, you know, you're free to do whatever you want, you go wherever you want, wherever you want to go. But the truth is for most people, we're trapped by, and I'm going to include myself because I've been here, not so much now, but I've been here. I've been, we've been trapped by our own beliefs about what we can't and cannot do. What we can and cannot do, that's better. So we end up playing this game where we'll think it's okay. Meanwhile, we're building these walls and it's, it's like somebody I talked about this recently, um, it's with a client, remember we were talking about this. And this happened to me as an experience I had in my master's program, of course, uh, 20 years ago, 21 years ago, wow. The experience of having, I was doing some inner work with my, just to be totally transparent, I was doing some inner work with my inner child with some stuff going on. And I had this total awareness that I basically was looking at my inner child inside a jail cell and he had the key in his hand. He'd locked himself in there. And I realized that what hit me so hard wasn't just about that I was dealing with this, but almost everybody's dealing with this, where we basically trap ourselves in our own limitations because we don't believe we can have the freedom to do whatever we want. And I'm adamant, having learned the lesson, that we can have freedom. In fact, we deserve freedom. It's our birthright, but it's only us stopping us. So just like fulfillment, freedom is an inside job. And the truth is when we learn how to navigate through both of these areas, to find fulfillment within ourselves and to discover that we have the key to unlock the door to our own self-enforced prison cell, that we find freedom, that's when we find balance. You should say that's when we experience balance because balance really is the knowing that wherever we are, we are okay that we have this balance. Because the thing is we're in a, light, we're in a world of contrast. We're in a world which has a lot of um, Polarity, that's the word we're using. So, some polarity, not recently. I talk a lot in my work about masculine and feminine polarity, and it's about the fact that we have this seesaw effect in relationships 
and in the way it express ourselves in the world. So that balance is not always in an even keel. Now, I'm not saying you should be in the middle of it. What I'm saying is you need to, need to understand this balance in all things because there's light and darkness. There's good and bad. There's right and wrong. There's always different things that have this binary effect or this binary expression of what is good and what is bad. And the truth is, what happens is we're either too busy trying to compensate to be good or to be right because we're afraid of being bad or wrong or we're basically diving into that or judging ourselves as being, um, what's we're looking for? <sighs> Unworthy, that's a word, that we'll choose to put on ourselves because we're not getting what we want either. Balance literally, literally for me, figuratively, literally, both. <laughs> Balance for me comes from the place of where you start to honor, respect yourself and allow yourself to enjoy all parts of life. So you're not being stressed by, pulled by or upset by any one area. You find a way to navigate through in a place that is in balance and in harmony and in, um, <coughs> excuse me, and in, um, so what I'm looking for here, well, it is in balance, already said that, but it's in flow, that's a good word, in flow so we can get where you want to go. So this, this three word phrase I've been using today, and I just came up with it literally about an hour ago, so it's very fresh, of balance, freedom, and fulfillment, <coughs> is what I feel like is the delivery for my clients to have what they want. Yes, it will affect your relationships, although it's not relationship-centric. Yes, it will affect your business and your health and your life itself, but it's not one specific thing. It's finding balance in all those areas. And so, well, I'm glad you like that, I'm glad you like that Jim. Wait, flow, flow definitely is um, a cornerstone. Maybe, it may be the fourth F. <laughs> so it'll be, then it'll, then it'll be balance, freedom, flow, and fulfillment. We'll see what happens. As I said, this is very fresh in my mind, so I'm talking about this now. But I believe when we understand this, actually, ooh, you gave me an idea there. Thank you, Jimmy. So there's an idea that basically is going to, well, let me play with this. I'm playing this out just to see how it goes, because basically, if you're interested in this, message me. I don't have anything set up for this. Just send me a message over social media. But what I'm offering is I'm understanding this, because it flows important in this one too. So let me say it this way. What if, just to play with it another, well, another way, that this is actually about balance, freedom, flow combining to create fulfillment. I think Shinwe you just gave me the idea. Thank you for that. That actually feels better. So I am playing with the idea of BFF because it seems to work really well and it resonates. But the truth is what I wanted to provide for all, my audience, provide for you if you want to get some of this, is really a blend of all three because when I, what I work with my clients is really helping them to own their own space and to become more autonomous. And by having that place of ownership in your life, those things that used to stop you, again, prison cell, or just being blocked by things along the way that make it hard to get through, this becomes easier because when the, by having the freedom, you have more flow in your life. And this gives you the balance to get where you want to go. And truthfully, and I've learned this myself, fulfillment is not about a destination, by the way. Fulfillment is the place of being the place of being centered in yourself. The more I discover in the work I've done with spiritual work and the, and, and the work I've done in my personal growth work, is that when I find myself centered and comfortable and enjoying who I am, fulfillment is in the moment. For whom it's not a goal, there isn't a, there's not, and this is the thing we forget. Living in, a, living in America, this is training we have about there's that sort of American dream. When you get there, you'll be happy. What I've discovered myself, and most people I know have found this, is when you get that car, that house, that relationship, that job, that new city, that whatever it is, it's fulfilling for a moment. And then it's no longer fulfilling. Because fulfillment, as I said at the beginning, is an inside job. So I'm going to change this. So thank you for that, Jimmy. You give me the inspiration. So it is about finding balance, having flow and freedom that creates fulfillment in your life. Because that's what I've experienced. Yes, indeed. Fulfillment is a place of being centered in yourself. Exactly. But when you, but people tend to think of centering themselves like a meditative state. And you're going to om and you're going to put your fingers, you know, do your, do your, your um, mudras. That's the right, mudras. And sit in a certain position, you'll find fulfillment. I, 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 su I suggest that fulfillment comes from how you live your life centered in yourself. And with the, with the skills I teach and with the support I provide, you'll find a way to navigate through life, whether it is the job, the family, the relationship, the money, whatever it is, to find fulfillment through all of that by navigating with grace, with flow, and with freedom. That's where balance comes from. So my invitation now, I've qualified that. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> I appreciate that. My invitation is to check, if you're interested in finding more about what that is, Message me on social media. I don't have anything set up for it in terms of a structured web page or anything like that, but I am willing to um, mention, share it with you more privately what it is you're maybe looking for, if it will help you, and also how we can work together. And basically, because this is the end of the decade, yeah, I know it's that, I'm talking about the end of the decade, big changes, like, right. Um, 
because we're shifting as a new paradigm, perhaps in 2020, this might be the best time to sign up for some support through the new year that will transform your experience. Because if the last year or two or three or four has been challenging, maybe you want to make next year different. Maybe you'd like to have some support into the new year in 2020 from a source and a resource that will help you find your way through with grace, find your way through with flow, and find your way through with freedom. So when you find balance in what you're doing, that's when you have fulfillment. How would 2020 be for you if you actually had fulfillment next year? That's my invitation to you now. That's my, um, in, that is my encouragement. It's also my suggestion that you might want to look into that. And I am suggesting you reach out to me over social media to find out how to get help. Again, I don't have a link. Actually, I'll put a, I will put a contact form link in the comments because if you don't want to do message or whatever, you can click on the link to fill out a contact form and tell me you want to look into this, this BFF um, coaching that I'm offering and I'll tell you more about it. That's the way it's going to be. Yeah, I figure that's the best, the most simple way to put it. So either message, message me over social media if you, do, if you use that. If you don't, feel free to click on the contact form in the comments and I'll take you straight to a contact form. You can put in there BFF, more information, please. And you can send me an email. Simple as that. Um, that was quick. <laughs> that's, I guess, what I'm going to talk about today is bringing to, bring to delivery. I know it's a Friday, it's at the end of the week, but I wanted to put about this out on the table because it's been on my mind for a while and I have not been finding a way to, to articulate it and bring it out clearly. So this is the first draft, although it's already been refined in the talk. <laughs> that's why I like test driving it out here. And if it resonates for you, message me. If it resonates for you, reach out to me. If it resonates for you, that's an indication to you that maybe you want to get some support. So... Um, Thank you, Jim Wayne, and I'm glad, and thank you for the help. I appreciate that little nudge that you gave me. Just, just pushed me into the right place of getting it. So, I appreciate that too. So again, this now I'm going to change the title. Is <laughs> is balance, freedom, flow, and freedom to result in fulfillment. So if you're interested in that, message me. I'll talk to you about it, and we'll get some clarity. And if you want to get some help, I can guide you. Um, this is my new offering. It looks like it's coming together, and this is going to be what I'm launching into the new year in a big way. But right now I'm offering one-on-one -on -one support because this is where I'm really going to help you get focused, clo um, cloned, focused and aligned to your vision and your heart's pull so you get where you want to go. Um, I'm kind of excited actually now that I'm talking about it. I, I didn't put it out to anybody until just now. So this is, you're the first people person to watch this and get it straight away from me. So this is brand new, as you can tell, not very um, marketed perfectly, but it's what I'm offering. So if you're interested in that, Message me, let's talk about it. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, in case you haven't seen my talks before. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook. It's something I've done every day and for a long time, although I'm noticing there's a shift coming through the new year, and this is part of it. So stay tuned for what's happening as well. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day, as I said, on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. Please make sure you tune in when you watch me live. The replay is go to my business page on Facebook and also to YouTube. My business page on Facebook is Barry Selby .author. Um Some of them, not all of them, unfortunately. Facebook's got a habit of hiding a lot of videos, so they're not all showing there, but you can see watch a bunch of them there. You can like my page. But if you want to watch and scan through all of my Facebook lives, all 920 plus, I wish you well enjoying that. That's a, definitely a binge watch focus. You've got on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And on there's a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. You can screw, scan through those, sort through, check by keywords, find what you're looking for, and enjoy a variety of conversational topics I've talked about. Again, if you want to get support in this area, this thing I'm putting out is a new thing. It's brand new, so it's going to be a game shifter for a lot of people, a paradigm shift for a lot of people. Yes, binge watching. I have said that before. So <laughs> it's like Netflix, but not quite as, 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 as diverse. It's just me in front of the camera, so it's not quite as maybe dynamic but it's certainly helpful. Um, so again, if you're interested in finding out about the BFF coaching I'm putting together, message me on social media or click on the contact form in the, in the comments and uh, your next step's in your hands. I look forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching my broadcast. Once again, for being here. Thank you, Chinway, for your input. I appreciate that. And I will be back in tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.